you can call it the art of fighting without fighting. Hi and welcome back to Kung Fu Shrimp. For today's video I've got a little treat for Bruce. To try and keep the tank clean, and to deal with any algae issues or uneaten food, I regularly top up Bruce's tank with algae hermit crabs. These do a great job of cleaning, and are generally small enough to avoid Bruce's attentions for long enough to get some work done before becoming a snack. On my last visit to my local fish store, however, I came across one of the biggest algae hermits I'd ever seen. So I knew I needed to grab him, and see what Bruce would make of him. I thought this would be an easy one for Bruce, but as you'll see, this was one stubborn crab, who refused to go down without a fight. Bruce versus Hermit Crab. Round 1. Fight! The Hermit Crab has chosen his home wisely, in the form of a Mexican turbo snail shell. This is a type of snail Bruce has never actually gone up against, mainly because they aren't cheap. But they do have a good tough shell, so I'll be interested to see how it gets on when it gets two tickets to the gun show. As the crab makes its way to the sand bed, via the entrance to Bruce's lair which seemed like a bad idea, you can get an idea of his size and realise he really is a beast compared to his brethren who are usually in the tank. Then, just when you thought the crab was going to get away with his dodgy descent and escape, here comes Bruce. A couple of quick strikes manages to flip the hermit on its back, and while Bruce has a quick celebratory swim, the crab retreats into his fortress. Despite the strength of his armour, you have to believe if Bruce gets him back into his lair, it's game over. But as if sensing the danger, the crab makes a desperate lunge for the rock. Bruce takes a swipe at him, but it's too little too late. And before he knows what's going on, the crabs climb to freedom and hunker down in a defensible position, ready for the onslaught. Bruce seems a little confused at first. I've noticed a lot of his hunting instincts seem to be geared towards movement. And once the hermit has secured his spot and stopped moving, Bruce seems to struggle to separate the crab from the rock. He finally manages to zero back in, and some movement from the Hermit confirms it, but he still seems unsure of the best plan of attack. After a bit more analysis, Bruce seems to decide an attack from above is the best course of action, and launches a blistering first offensive. And we can already see the power Bruce can put behind those strikes, as the third one takes off a chunk of the hermit crab's shell. But, despite doing damage, Bruce quickly retreats back to his lair to plan his next attack. At this point, Bruce is in full hunting mode, so when Psycho gets a bit too close, Bruce gives a lunge to warn him to stay away from his meal. After getting rid of the competition, Bruce decides to resume his onslaught from above. The crab looks like its grip is loosening at one point. But despite a second volley, the crab is still standing firm. Bruce is really zeroed in on one spot. It looks like he's focused on trying to break the edge of the crab's shell, so he can get at its legs to dislodge it. Despite doing damage, the crab is somehow managing to cling on.
It feels like this is now a battle of wills between Bruce's predatory aggression and the crab's desperate will to survive. The only question left is whose stamina will give out first. I've never seen a limit to Bruce's aggression in the past, but he's already thrown over 35 strikes at this crab, and I'm starting to wonder how long he can keep this up for. Bruce definitely feels like he's slowing down now, with only two strikes in that last attack. But after taking such a savage beating, you've also got to wonder how much the crab can have left in the tank. If you'd asked me before the fight, I would have said the hermit had no chance. But the longer this goes on, I'm starting to wonder if the crab might actually be able to outlast this siege. But just when it looks like Bruce has run out of ideas, the crab finally has nothing left to give and Bruce prizes him from the rock, sealing his fate. Before Bruce runs away with his prize, we can see the damage those attacks have done, with a large chunk of the shell destroyed, making it even more amazing he held out for as long as he did. Eventually, however, Bruce emerges to show us the shattered remnants of the crab's once invincible shell. And I might be imagining it, but he does seem to have a slightly smug look on his face as he relaxes after his meal. I really thought this fight was going to be over in the first few seconds when Bruce got the crab flipped over in front of his lair. But after the crab's death-defying escape and surprisingly effective defense, this turned into a real test for Bruce. I was interested to see that while it took Bruce a while to figure out a plan, once he had a strategy, he really stuck to it repeatedly striking the same spot over and over to cause maximum damage in order to get to the crab's legs to prise it off the rock. This shows that as well as the amazing power Bruce can put behind his strikes, he also has devastating accuracy. And more importantly, he's got a plan. I love it when a plan comes together. So that about wraps it up for this video. It was certainly interesting to see a more calculating side to Bruce's hunting technique. I'll need to have a think about what other prey I can find to show off other aspects of Bruce's Kung Fu style in the future. And while we watch Bruce doing a bit of housework, I just want to take this opportunity to say a huge thank you to everyone who's made it this far. Not many people make it to the end, so I want to say a particular thanks to those brave few souls who are in it for the long haul. And since you've made it this far, and hopefully enjoyed the video, why not hit that like button, or consider subscribing to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on any of Bruce's future adventures. And if anyone has any questions or suggestions for future videos, please make sure to post in the comments, and I promise Bruce will take a look at his earliest convenience. So, until next time, thanks for watching.